Okay, so guys, I know this isn't a gaming video. We normally do gaming stuff on the channel, but I'm serious when I say this, out of the almost 3,000 videos I've done on the channel, this is the most important video I've ever made. So guys, I was thinking about it, and I was thinking about you guys, and just how much you've impacted my life. Like, I mean this when I say this. I love you guys, I care about you guys, and like I said, you've changed my life. So I was thinking for this Christmas, I'm like, what is the best gift that I could give you guys and it instantly came to mind. Guys, we're gonna talk about the true meaning of Christmas. Let me grab my Santa Claus hat really quick. And uh, I'm just kidding, it's not Santa Claus. <laughs> Although Santa Claus is nice and stuff, but guys, it's a little bit different and you may already know. You may already know the true meaning of Christmas or maybe you think you know, but guys, I challenge you to watch all the way to the end because I think I'm gonna say a few things that might be a little different than what you thought or maybe add to what you already knew. But guys, I'm telling you, it's all good, it's all amazing, and it's part of the reason why I love Christmas so much, and I think it's part of the reason why Christmas is a lot of people's favorite holiday, outside of the presents and stuff. You know, the presents are great. Presents are great, but when you get down to the true meaning of Christmas, it just takes the holiday to another level. And I know everyone has their own things they believe in, and I'm not forcing anybody to believe anything, um, but I'm just gonna be sharing what was recorded, and guys, I won't have like all the details, but if you want all the details, I'll put some references in the description if you wanna read like every single detail about it. But basically, this is how Christmas started, and it starts off kinda crazy. Okay, so you guys have probably seen like the nativity scenes. You got Mary, Joseph, and the baby. And the baby's name is Jesus. And a lot of you guys probably already know this. Yeah, and this is where it gets a little crazy, but actually really, really cool. So, Jesus was actually sent by God. And there's a reason. There's a reason for it. And that's the exciting thing. And that's the main thing I wanna talk about today, the whole reason that he came. But yeah, this all happened about 2,000 years ago. About 2018 years ago, to be exact. Well, actually, 2019 years, because it's about to be 2019. But yeah, we based our whole calendar around it. That's how important this is. Like, this happened exactly 2019 years ago. That's technically the start of this whole time period. So, it happened. Every time we write the date, like the year, we're saying it's 2018 years since this happened. So yeah, Jesus was born that night and it was such a big deal. People came from all over the world to see him and they brought him gifts and stuff. And this is kind of where the whole like giving gifts kind of came about for Christmas. And if you listen to certain Christmas songs, like they kind of make more sense once you know this, like Oh Holy Night, Silent Night, um, joy to the world, little drummer boy. Like if you listen to the words, it makes sense when you think about like what actually happened. So maybe you already know all of this so far, but why did he come? Like why did Jesus come? Why did God send him? Why did this all happen? So here's the thing, it doesn't matter how good of a person any of us tries to be, we all make mistakes. We all do bad things from time to time. And the way it used to work, it was kind of crazy. Like, so the only way to make things right again with God was to make a sacrifice. You had to sacrifice an animal, which was kind of crazy. But God had a plan to totally change the way the system worked. And that's why he sent Jesus, his son. So when you think about it, Jesus had it pretty good. He was already in heaven before, and he had it pretty good up there, you know? But he came to earth, and he became a human. And he was on earth for 33 years. He had to go through everything that we go through. So he can really understand like anything that anybody goes through. The only difference is he lived a perfect life, which is just, it's just amazing. But he could do it because he's God's son. So you'd think people would be pretty impressed. You know, he's like doing miracles and stuff. Never, <laughs> never sinned, never did anything bad. You think people would be impressed. Some people were impressed. Um, but some people like weren't impressed and they were mad that he was like taking attention away from them. Like the religious leaders and stuff, they were like, they were ticked because he's taking the attention away from them. So to get revenge on him, they had him killed, which is pretty drastic. But the thing is that was part of the whole plan. So this is where it all comes together. So now instead of having to make a sacrifice, an animal sacrifice, God sent his son, I'm getting chills just thinking about it. <laughs> God sent his son to be the last sacrifice ever. He was the perfect sacrifice, the son of God, and no one ever has to make an animal sacrifice ever again. It's like, it's amazing. And he made it so easy. All you have to do, and this is in the Bible, all you have to do is just believe that he did it, believe he was who he says he was, and accept the gift. It's like the best gift ever. It seriously is the best gift ever. Now you gotta keep in mind, this wasn't easy like at all. 
Like, think about it from Jesus' perspective. Like, he never did anything wrong. Think about, like, when you didn't do anything wrong, but you got in trouble anyways. Like, this was the ultimate example of that. Like, he never did anything wrong, and he was completely betrayed and killed for it. And then think about it from God's perspective. This is his son. Like, he loves Jesus more than any human could love anything. And he had to watch him be killed by the people that he loves but that's the thing that's why it's like it's so amazing that's why people are so passionate about it because that shows how much god loves us like he loves us so much that he's willing to send his own son to die for us if you've ever thought god doesn't love you it's completely wrong once you see what he did and it was for everyone it was for you for me like every single person doesn't matter how good or bad you are like sometimes people will say like well i've done too many bad things dude people have done much worse like one of jesus closest disciples one of his best friends denied him three times in a row and he was just hanging out with him that same day like paul the guy who wrote a lot of the bible he did some of the worst things you can imagine but completely forgiven everything gone and that's the thing like it seems like sometimes people associate god and jesus with like guilt or something but that's the whole thing it's the complete opposite like the whole point of jesus coming and everything he did was to completely erase guilt. Yeah, you feel guilty if you think about any of the bad things you've done in your life, but as soon as you ask for forgiveness, it's gone forever. And I think this is a difficult thing for people to understand, even Christians. Like, there's something in our minds where it's like we wanna earn it, we wanna earn our way to heaven or something. But it doesn't matter how many good things you do, how many good deeds you do, it doesn't earn your way to heaven. It's all about what Jesus did, what God did. That's what gets you there. All you do is believe it, accept it. That's what gets you there. And that's what it says in the Bible. It says not by works, not by anything you do, so that no one can brag about it. That's in the Bible. If we could earn our way there by how many good things we do, then we could brag about it. Then we could say, hey, I'm better than you because I did more good things. But in comparison to God, we're all bad. Like he's perfect. We're not perfect, so we're all on the same playing field. No one's better than anyone else. But because of what Jesus did, he cleans the slate. He makes us pure in God's sight, which is just, it's awesome. And so, the reason we do good things is because we love him, because we're grateful, and he tells us to do this stuff. Because it's like, he's our father, and we do the right thing because we're grateful, because we love him, because he's our father. And like, think about, think about your parents. Your parents tell you, don't touch the stove because you're going to get burned. Don't play with fire because you're going to get burned. It's the same thing. You don't do the wrong thing. You don't steal, lie, do bad things because bad things are going to happen. And the Bible does have a lot of things that it tells us to do and not to do. But it was pretty cool. Like Jesus summed it all up in two commands. He said, love God and love people. And if you follow those two, you end up doing all the right stuff. Like I said, God loves us. He wants the best for us. So that's why he tells us what to do and what not to do. You do good things, good things will happen to you. You do bad things, bad things will happen. That's just how it works. But that has nothing to do with whether or not you're going to heaven. Like I said, it's all about accepting Jesus and believing that he was who he said he was. Now, it doesn't just give us a ticket to do whatever we want and just do a bunch of bad things. Because if you're going around stealing and lying and doing bad stuff, breaking the law, did you really believe? I think our actions kind of show where our heart is. I think that's how it works. And guys, like I said before, the reason I'm telling you this, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I genuinely do care about you guys. And like I said, this is like the best gift that I can give to you guys. And when I first started my channel years ago, I made a list on my phone of goals that I want for the channel, the things I want to do with my channel. And number one, I can't remember exactly how I worded it, but number one on the list was I wanted to just help people, whether it's make people smile or make people laugh or share things that I'm learning in life or just be the best example I can be. But guys, above anything else, I want the best for you. I want the best for you guys. So for me, like, I just feel like it wouldn't be fair to you guys if I never shared this stuff, if I never shared like the story of Christmas and how it's affected my life, because guys, I'm telling you, this is by far the number one biggest thing that's ever had any impact in my life. Like I'm the person I am today because of God, because of what I've read in the Bible. And I want to share this with you guys. I want you to at least hear it. Like I'm not, like I said before, I'm not forcing anyone to believe or think anything, but I want you guys to at least hear it and know it 
because in my life like it's just amazing it's hard to put it into words like i've gone through a lot of stuff that probably a lot of you guys go through too like anxiety you know hurts bad habits depression like i've gone through this stuff and i can't tell you how comforting it is to be able to go to god talk to him about this stuff read about ways to work through it and to come out the other side it's just it's just hard to put into words like i said before i think people get it confused like they think it's just all about you know rules and doing the right things not doing the wrong things but it's not about rules it's about a relationship having a relationship with god someone who loves you more than you can imagine more than any human could love anyone that's how much god loves you i know it's hard to believe it's hard to even comprehend we can't even comprehend how much he loves us but we get a little glimpse we get a little glimpse when we think about what he did when he sent his son guys i know this is a different video i know this is a very <laughs> different video than what we normally do but I keep saying it a million times. I just I just think, hey, if I had the chance to give you all a million dollars, I would do it. But this is better than a million dollars, so why wouldn't I give this to you guys? So here's the thing. You know, everybody has their own beliefs and makes their own decisions. So I leave it up to you. And if you want to make a decision, all you have to do is just talk to him. Just say, Jesus, I believe. I believe that you're the son of God. I believe that you died to take away the penalty for anything wrong that I've ever done. So I accept you. I accept your gift. And just come into my life make me into the person you want me to be guys it's that simple like it's crazy how simple he made it and if you don't believe me i'll put stuff in the description i'll put some references but yeah it really is that simple it really is that great and to be honest i've never heard anyone regret making this decision pretty sure all i've ever heard is like it's the best thing that's ever happened to them it's the best thing that's ever happened to me so yeah guys if you made that decision please hit me up please let me know like you can hit me up on any of my social media or send a message or something and guys if you have any questions if you want to talk about it more i highly recommend finding a good church that you can get involved in i'll try to put some good resources in the description too for you to check out and if you want to chat with me more about it like you can send me a message on my social media probably probably instagram because i get notifications for that but legitimate questions like i don't want to go into like arguments or anything but yeah if you have any like genuine questions feel free to hit me up oh i almost forgot one of the coolest parts after they killed him he rose from the dead he predicted he was going to rise from the dead and he actually pulled it off which actually speaking of holidays that's what easter's all about so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a lot different than what we normally do and i'm not monetizing this video so there shouldn't be any ads or anything but i hope you guys just have an awesome Christmas. Tell the people around you that you love them and I'll see you next time.